What's going on guys? Hey, it's Anthony with the Wrenched Out Garage. Thank you for tuning in. Kind of a different deal. Trim the beard down. Anyways, we got an install for the Razor once again. So if you guys don't know, this is a Razor XP1000 2019 model and it has drive command. I'm gonna go into full details on what drive command is uh, and all the features of it, but we're gonna talk about one specific feature today. Let me uh, go right here. So right here, click on that. I do have the rear camera. It came, the ride command comes with the rear camera, which is nice, obviously backing in and out of tight places or really backing up at all. So that's what it looks like. Well, it's kind of blown out there, but it looks better in person. Anyways, the front doesn't come with it. None of the units actually had the front camera. In fact, I went to order it when I purchased the Razor and it wasn't even available through Polaris. So what we're gonna talk about, and I'm gonna do a very simple install today, is that front camera. I did order it, and of course it just came in. So if you have a Razor or you added the drive command, you it may be a little different. I'm gonna talk you through that, but on ours, here's the front of it. So as you can see, it already has the hole right there. Um, on, I believe, earlier models or different models, the grill actually, uh, there's nothing there. So the grill just kind of captures over. We're gonna pop the grill out, a little dirty. I'm gonna show you this and then we'll jump over to that. So obviously you just pop the top clamps, pull this thing out, and then there it is. So once again, there is the mount. And this is how simple this is if you have drive command. That is the plug for it. So we'll unplug that so you see that. And now let's go over to the workbench here. So this thing retails for $104.99. Part number is right there if you're interested. 2882381. There should be no tools required, at least for this model. Now it comes with instructions. It does come with two of these mounts. So where these mounts are supposed to go is in between somehow in between the webbing. Um, like I said, there is two different types of mounts. Um, I'm not sure exactly how they want you to hook it in because my grill is, I believe my grill is different because the uh, drive command setup or maybe that's a 2019 thing, I don't know. Let me put this down. So again, this is super, super simple here, guys. So this is what comes in the box. Let me move the camera. There we go. So it comes with two of these. There is differences in it. It says right there. Um, it tells you which drive command kit it comes with. If your local retailer like ours is, ours is pretty cool because normally they'll give you discounts on some of the parts. Um, this is the camera itself. So I'm gonna do obviously a quick install on this and then we'll take a look at it inside the cab. So there it is right there. It does have a little piece of plastic covering it. But essentially this should be super simple. Um, really I didn't have to take the grill off to install this, but again it comes with that. There's the cap. Let's get back over to the side by side here. I'm hoping, all right. So if you look at this thing, there's a notch. You know, it's hard, it's probably impossible to see there. There is a notch on the top of this, which coincides with the camera. So of course, we'll just kind of pop that guy through, just like that. Let me pull this little piece of plastic forward. Got the plastic off. And that's it. Huh. Yeah, that's that's it. So there it is. And then this guy plugs into this. Just like that, snap. And then I'm gonna pop the grill in. We'll say with this desert bumper, obviously it's pretty tight to get your grill back in. So you get your lower tabs in. 
I'll mess with the wiring when I go to do the other wiring, but that's it. Let's jump in and check it. Check this out, make sure everything works. All right. So back over here. Again, so the drive command does uh, some instrumentation stuff, does do the stereo, does GPS, does a lot of other cool things. Okay. So there it is. So let's turn this on. Front and rear cameras. Rear camera. Front camera. Take a look at that. So now obviously, and the main reason I got this camera, and I'll, I'll look at doing um, possibly some, uh, maybe using one of those other ones, I don't know yet. But the reason I wanted to get this camera is when you're on the trail, and you're coming into those tight, tight areas. Obviously you can't see, when I'm looking, I can't see down. This, I obviously can. And you can run the cameras. One of the cool things that Polaris did with this drive command unit, uh, especially with the cameras, is you can turn them on and off whenever you want. It automatically goes on for the rear camera when you are in reverse. But if, you're, if you wanna just look behind you while you're driving, you could just leave it on. Again, the front camera, you can watch that as well. I think it's a pretty nice feature, um, especially because if you look at the field of view, we're looking through the bumper. Um, and it's nice because again, I can't see when you're looking, when I'm looking from my passenger seat, if you look right there from the driver's seat, excuse me, if you look at that, my field of view just increased to the lower portion. So hopefully I'll be able to prevent um, running over big obstacles or being able to pick my pick my my lanes better when I'm when I'm driving. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Does look like I need to rotate it just a hair and get it installed. But that's it. That's the Polaris um, front camera for your razor. Again, I'll put the links to this stuff down below. If you guys have not subscribed, consider doing that. We got a lot of cool stuff coming to the razor. I still have installs. We're gonna be getting out in this thing a lot more. Um, I've got truck installs, just so much more garage hacks and just everything else. I do appreciate you guys watching the video. Hit subscribe if you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, again, if you're interested in this, drop a comment down below. If you have questions about it or anything else, let me know. We'll catch up with you guys in the next video. If you're out riding or driving, do it safely, and we'll see you around.